YouTube, my name's Natalie. Today I've got the girls coming round, so I'm going to cook a bit of posh nosh to impress them. They're really fussy, but this dish is really simple and it's really, really tasty. We're going to do lamb loins with salsa verde and braised lettuce and peas. It's really simple, it can all be done in 20 minutes. we want to do is we want to get started with our lamb loins. We've got these beautiful lamb loins, as you can see they've all been trimmed up from the butcher. You can get them in even in the supermarkets these days. We're going to season them up, always with a bit of rock salt, and then a bit of pepper, just like that. Just going to whack a bit of oil in that pan that's really nice and hot now, I can feel the heat coming off. The cereal on the lamb is really important because that's where all the flavour is. The caramelisation gives it that nice, juicy flavour. And I'll give you a little tip for putting these loins into the hot pan. Always lay it away from you. So I'm going to put them like that. So then the oil doesn't splash back into your face or onto your hands. I'm going to put the last one in there. Just give my hands a rinse because I've been using raw meat. As you can hear, can you hear that sizzle in there? It's coming along nicely. And as you can see, it's starting to get a nice brown there. We've already got our oven preheated on 180. So once these are seared and turned over, we're going to bung it in there for eight to ten minutes for medium, nice pink lamb. As you can see, look, look at that beautiful flavour. It's all crispy, it's going to be really juicy. That's every bit of flavour. I'm going to turn him over there, get that one there. Just using the tongue, so it can go straight into the oven. Now, we've got these uh, pans and they're oven proof. Not all pans can go in the oven because they've got plastic handles. So make sure it is oven proof. We'll put him straight in here. So they're in the oven for eight minutes, and now we're going to get on and make our lettuce and peas. So we've got these beautiful, beautiful baby gem lettuces. You can pick them up in all supermarkets. So I've got four of these little ones, one per person. And what we want to do is we just want to slice them in half, just like that. And it's as simple as that. That's all the preparation you need to do. We've got a pan on there. And into there, that's hot now, we want to put a knob of butter. So while that's melting down, we put our stock in there, because this is what they call an emulsion. I didn't even know what emulsion was, I thought it was paint. But yeah, they cook in emulsions in all these fancy kitchens. Right, so we've got our lettuces there. Our stock's now come up to a bowl, our little emulsion. And we're just going to lay these little babies in there, face down, for six to seven minutes. I'm just going to pop them all in, they'll all fit. And we're just going to season with a tiny bit of salt to keep the flavour in and a tiny bit of pepper. We don't want to put too much salt in at this point because obviously the chicken stock is always seasoned and you don't want salty, salty food. And another tip for you, cook with a lid on. It traps all that flavour, flavour, flavour. So we're going to let them sit for six to seven minutes and while we're sitting there, we're going to crack on and make our salsa verde. Now we've got these lovely herbs. It smells so, so good. I'm going to use some fresh mint because mint and lamb is a marriage made in heaven. We've got some parsley. Some fresh basil and also I like to use a bit of dill. Don't worry about you know getting rid of the stalks. The stalks all flavour. Why waste anything? And just roughly chop it all up and just bung it in there like that. What we got is these beautiful, beautiful anchovies. We just want to use six, five or six of them. Just throw them in. And then we've got these lovely capers. I want to just put a couple of tablespoons in there. Also into there. Got some Dijon mustard. Just throw that in, it just gives it that bit of heat. And some olive oil. Seasoning, again, everything's got to be tasty, but go easy on the salt because the anchovies and the capers are salty. A nice whack of pepper. We're only using half an onion here. Just whack off, you know, the peeling bit. Follow the lines. Just roughly chop it. And be careful with the fingers, you don't want to chop no fingers off, you don't want to have that in your salsa verde. And then straight into the pot, like that. And to finish it off, we want some lemon. I'm just going to zest that up there, like that, and then we'll throw it into the pot, straight in, cut it in half. And a tip for you, always squeeze the lemon into your hand because you get rid of all them pips. And I heard a weird story once on YouTube that someone ate a pip and then they had a tree grow in their belly. I don't know if it's true, but I don't fancy that. It's as simple as that. 
And then by the time our lamb's ready to come out, our sauce is done, our lettuce is nearly finished, and then that's it. So our lamb's been in the oven for eight minutes now, so we're just going to take him out and let him rest for a minute, and then we'll get on and finish off our braised lettuce. I'm just going to rest him onto a plate, because we don't want him sitting there in all his cooking oil, otherwise it'll all get all horrible and greasy. I'm just going to pop him onto there. Just get rid of this pan. Right, so these have been braising now for six to seven minutes. You see they're bubbling away nicely. Now, it's not going to take much longer, and this is where we add in our peas. And they're not going to take that long, they're going to take one to two minutes. Just pop that lid back on, because we want to trap that flavour in there. Right, so they've been in there for two to three minutes, and now we can start to plate up. So I'm just going to take that off the heat. Now, we're not going to use the stock, I just want the peas and the lettuce. So I'm just going to use a slotted spoon, because we don't want it sitting there in a horrible pool of juicy mess. And also, pretty much most of our emulsion has bubbled away and gone into our lettuce. So all that lovely chicken stock is adding extra flavours to them lettuce. So our meat's been resting for five minutes. Now, I like to rest my meat for half the cooking time, and I like to slice it on the diagonal. Because also, slicing it that way, it keeps the meat tender. So, lovely slices. And as you can see, it's all juicy. It's a sort of medium. Just like that. Nice. I'm just going to show you how to plate one of them up. I'm going to grab a lovely bit of this beautiful braised lettuce. Now I like to give everyone two and some of them beautiful peas. And then look at that beautiful pink lamb loin. I'm going to put in there the star of the show and that lovely, lovely salsa verde. I'm going to spoon it all over like that. There's loads to go around. And I just like to finish with a bit of extra virgin oil. Just drizzled over like that. And there you go, my posh nosh. Lamb, salsa verde, braised peas and lettuce. That's going to blow the girls' socks off and little time cooking in the kitchen so I can sit back, drink a glass of wine and enjoy the night. <laughs>